Sign up today. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the April 22nd, the wonderful Wednesday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm host Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Okay, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We're going to go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know that I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here, but much, much more important than that. During this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, well, we've got you covered there too. Go ahead, send me an email. Steve at TFNN.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. And of course, in our Tigers, then, well, any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on wonderful Wednesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to La Show. we got most of the indices in the green. The transports are the ones that are trading lower by about eight points, so they're basically flat. The Dow's up 400 points, one and three-tenths, one and three-quarters percent. S&P 54, two percent to the upside. NASDAQ 100 up 218 or two and a half percent. <clears throat> Russell's up one percent. Semis are up four percent. They're trading out at 16.56. You've got the spot volatile index, I believe, below the 50-day exponential moving average. That's trading at 41.97. You've got gold up 49 buckaroonies, 17.36 of the print. Silver is up 34 cents, two and three tenths percent to the upside. Trade down at 15.22. Uh, you've got lights recruit up about three bucks. Natural gas up seven pennies. 30-year Treasury down a little, one tick and uh, one point and nine ten. 30 seconds out there right now, trading out at 180.29. So let's go to our first question that has uh, come in. Uh, this one coming in, the only question at this stage of the game, uh, is uh, from uh, Johnny in Athens. And Johnny wants to take a look at uh, Dunkin' Donuts. And Johnny is interested in, I believe Johnny's interested in going short Dunkin' Donuts. Maybe he's already short. I can't tell for sure. But the question is, He's asking if we could confirm an A to B equals CD to the downside on the weekly chart. And so he's chosen. So here is the weekly time frame chart. And I believe I've grabbed approximately, I believe I've grabbed the swing points that he's looking at. Now, you've, Johnny, you've got the 7984. You didn't give me the dates. And I can't really read the graphic that you sent in the chart there on my phone, but I appreciate that. Um, so what I'm grabbing here is uh, assuming that you're using this swing point high, this is the trading day of um, February 3rd, or the week that began February 3rd, so it's your A point. Now, the B point would be the lows that are put in. Those are the lows from the week that began March 16th, and that's 38. I've got 38.51. You had 38.63. So, I, again, I don't know where our differences are. My apology here. But the question that he's asking is, can I confirm that he's selected the proper swing points. I believe you have, so we have different uh, values, again, for reasons I don't know out there. But uh, the question is, and here's always the problem in the A to B equals CD pattern, is really being able to identify where is that C point. So here's what we can say. So Johnny, to the extent that this is the pattern that you wanna trade, the beauty about the C point that you've selected, which is the only C point that you would have out here for the A to B equals CD to the downside on the weekly basis, which would be the high of uh, the week of April the 6th out there. The nice thing is, is that you've got resistance at your back on that short trade. So if you were gonna use this and you had a hankering to go short Dunkin' Donuts, D-N-K-N, 
then we can say that this made a 0.618 retracement or very close to it. But you've also got the top of that weekly profile, bear structured profile, 61.53. So if you've got that longer term view, and that's all we're really taking a look at right here, right now. Well, when I say longer term view, we'll call it an intermediate term view, that being a weekly time frame. Then, yeah, I see it. Now, we don't know if it's an A to B equals CD to the downside. We wouldn't know that until price passes the actual B point or 38.51 or the low from March 16th. Or what's the low? Uh, 38.52. Yeah, it was March March uh, 16th out there. Uh, so here's what you do know from a weekly perspective. As long as price doesn't close above 61.53, bearish structure, price will first work its way down to the center of its profile. That's 53.86. And in a close below that should or could set price down to test the bottom of that profile, 42.35. You know, you don't know, I don't know whether price can actually move through that. So now let's go take a look at Dunkin' Donuts. Let's look at what's going on on the other time frames out here. Now, on the monthly basis, price is below support. That would have been the bottom of its profile. That was 71.50. Uh, so that's not helping us, or it's at least helping us from the standpoint that price is below support. So this goes along the theory that uh, Johnny has about trying to take Dunkin' Donuts to the uh, short side. When we look at the daily time frame chart, right now we can see that price has been consolidating for approximately the last five out of six days in between its daily profile. There was a one hit wonder, which was the trading session of um, April 17th. Price closed above, remember, when we see price close above resistance or below support, we like to have confirmation. And the confirmation, unfortunately, is not the first candle. We like to see two sessions, consecutive sessions in a row to tell us that the move was not a false move. Now, is there magic in the second session? For me, that's follow through. Does it mean that it works 100% of the time and price doesn't come back? No, I can't control price. But what I do know is these one hit wonders, so to speak, where they break resistance or break support out here. If they don't follow through on the uh, second session. Uh, it 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 was a false breakout. And that's really what Dunkin' Donuts had was a false breakout out here. Now, what you do have, Johnny, is you have a bullish structured profile for the daily time frame. The reason is because the center at 5598 is closer to the bottom at 5405 versus the top at 5985 out here. So because price is up towards resistance, you take a look at that weekly. If you've got a hankering to go short Dunkin' Donuts, then uh, go for it out there but to close out that trade if you well certainly if you have two bars that close above 59.85 the top of the daily profile but really you're also looking at 61.53 the top of the weekly will this turn into an a to b equals cd to the downside that i don't know now there was or there appears to have been a a to b equals cd to the upside uh which could be the gartley sell pattern so let's go take a look at it so the a pattern here Let's start with it. It's going to be the uh, low of the swing point. It looks like that's probably, well, let's not do probably. You see there, March 19th, that low was 38.51, and we had 38.52. Yeah, so it's going to be that low, the day of March 19th. That's your A point. Let's mark this thing here. There you go. Your B point out here looks like might be the same price, 56.73. No, it was the trading session of March 25th. And your C point out here was April the 3rd. There's your one-to-one. -one. There's your Gartley sell pattern. You know, the problem that I have with that is, um, well, here's your confirmation of that. It was this little gap right here, the trading day of April 21st. So you've got to confirm Gartley sell in Dunkin' Donuts, but you've got to crack 5405. We'll be right back. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. 
Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. TFNN is launching an open house for our Tiger's Den. For a limited time, you can get a 30-day free trial to the Tiger's Den. Just enter promo code OPEN at checkout and pay nothing for 30 days while you try out your Tiger's Den membership as part of our open house. With market volatility at an all-time high and people all over the world working from home if possible, TFNN is hosting an open house in our Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is an interactive chat room that runs all day where other Tigers and Tigresses discuss trading ideas with the hosts and members along with charts and current market news as well as live access to the charts the hosts use during their programs join us for the tiger's den open house begin your den membership today by just entering open at checkout and pay nothing while you try things out for 30 days for all the details and to start your den membership today visit the front page of tfnn.com don't miss out on the tfnn tiger's den open house taking place now sign up today Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Dow's up 424 S&P 55. Let's go to our next question. This one coming in from HD. HD says, I took a long position in NGD this morning. Do you think it could make a run to the uh, buck area, the dollar area? Let's go take a look at it. So NGD is a new gold ink out here, trading out at 82 cents as we speak. And so as we take a look at the daily time frame chart out here, we're going to see that. So there's really... You know, the first A to B equals C D pattern. There's 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 really a couple of them that you could draw. There's two A to B equals C D patterns that you could draw out here. So let's take a look at the first one. The first one out here, H D comes off of the March sixteenth low, thirty-nine cents. Uh, that moves up into resistance, the top of its bearish structured profile out there. That's in the trading session of March 19th. Uh, that was at 67 cents. And then price pulls back to where? The bottom of the profile. So here's the consolidation zone that it was in. And your C point was uh, March 23rd. So the one-to-one -one level takes you to 77 cents. <clears throat> price, in essence, hit 77 cents on April 13th or the following day. So on April 13th, you had a wide-ranging bar. The very next day, you had an even higher move out there that actually made it to the 1 to 1 and the 1 to 1.272. And it did it with what kind of volume? I don't know. Let's see. It did it with 16 million shares. And you're trading into that today, HD, with... 3.5 million shares. So um, this is going to struggle to perhaps struggle to get through this level. But your question is, can it make it to the one to one uh, or want to make, can it make it to the dollar level? Well, first, with regard to this Gartley cell pattern, it has not been confirmed. What do you mean, Steve-O? OK. So one of the very first patterns that I learned was the A to B equals CD pattern. So I appreciate the uh, the earlier question by Johnny uh, about the A to B equals C D pattern out there. Cool pattern, absolutely. And then when once I thought that I learned that pattern, because uh, I had the software to draw to draw the A to B equals C Ds out there, I started taking, I started selling every D point and buying every D point out there, and was trading was trading everything, currencies that way, just everything. And then as the account balance started going down. I had to say to myself, wait a minute here. This is a great pattern. was taught by a great individual. You know him, Larry Pesavento out there. Really was the one that taught me the uh, Gartley patterns. Tom 
uh, teaches the A to B equals C D as well. So really just putting those two together. And uh, what I have learned in my life, maybe you've learned in your life as well, is I end up learning more from failure than I do from success. Now, that doesn't mean that I'm a good loser. Because I will, I, I, you know, I've got several little sayings that I don't always express them all to you, but I will say this one: "You show me a good loser, I'll show you a real loser out there." So I don't like to lose out there, but that just means I persevere. I just get back up. It's not how you get knocked down; it is how you get back up. So you can learn more from your losses. So I then spent time going through and taking a look at why did the A to B equal C D pattern didn't work? Why couldn't I sell the D point? I mean, the market does 75% of the work for you. It does the A to B to C out there. And then what I learned was Japanese candlesticks. Because that is how the market squawks, walks, and talks to Stevo out here. Because we, you take a look at a chart, a blank chart, and you see prices moving up, and it gets past the one-to-one -one level or the 0.618 retracement or 0.786 or you name it, whatever it is. The reality is price is going to continue to move up until you see the cavalry, until you see sellers. How do you know if there's sellers out there? Well, the easy way is they can't disguise themselves. They leave a signature out there. And so what we can say on NGD is there is no bearish reversal candle. So the way that we can answer HD's question is, even though price may be struggling to get through this little, this next swing point out here of April 14th, because of the volume that it had there of 16.3 million shares, and you're attacking it with much lighter volume today, but still without any bearish reversal candle, what we would say to HD is, hey, the 1 to 1.618, A to B equals CD, gets you to 95 cents. And the one to two would get you to a buck five. And so the way that I would answer this question is until you see a bearish reversal candle, those upside levels uh, are in play out there. So I hope that helps you out with regard to NGD. Now, let's let's also take a look at for HD other resistance that he needs to concern himself with. So we already know that volume uh, today is very light, moving into a prior swing point. We can also see clear resistance on both the daily and the monthly timeframes. So in order for HD to get to the dollar level, we can see that it's going to have to clear the weekly, the weekly TAS market profile. And here's the fly in the financial ointment. Last week was a test and rejection of the bullish structured weekly profile and it failed to close over that. So what you really need to see this week, got a couple more days, is you really want to see price close back above the bottom of that profile. It's 83 cents. And we're trading at, uh, at what, about 83 cents. So we're really, we're right, we're basically right there. You need to see it close above that level and then watch 86 cents because that's where a counter trend rally could end when you get below the bottom of a bullish structured profile where you're looking to consider taking the short position here I know you're long but where you're looking to take consider taking the short positions between the bottom and then the center of that uh, profile out there you've got resistance at 89 cents so now you know yet yeah, no bearish reversal signal but you're late in the entry on this um, I believe and you're really running right up into some resistance levels out there. So I hope that that helps you out with regard to uh, NGD, Stevie and the A to B equals CD patterns. Look, Japanese candlesticks, uh, the A to B equals CD pattern is, I won't call it useless, but it doesn't, you don't have the full use of it unless you understand Japanese candlesticks. Now, there's a lot of stuff on the internet and there's plenty of books out there on Japanese candlesticks. A lot of it is wrong. A lot of it is just dead freaking wrong out there. It is amazing how much poor or bad fake information there is on the Internet. No, 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 that's that's not really the case out there. And so if you really want to learn these, what I like to do is I like to take decades worth of information and just boil it down into what you really need to know. Look, there's 30 some odd Japanese candlesticks out there. You don't need to know all 30 of them. You might like that just for some kind of education, but all 30 of them, they're not all useful. There are seven. There's seven bullish and seven bearish candlesticks. In fact, if you learn one, it's the opposite. So I make that real easy. I've got workshops, I believe, on my members page out there that'll teach you how to do that if you want. And, and the thing is, just like I say the A to B equals CD pattern is, is you don't have the real power of it unless you combine it with the market communicating to you with the bullish and bearish reversal candles. 
understanding the bullish and bearish reversal candles won't do you a whole lot of good without having patterns to recognize. Could be the Chapman wave patterns, could be wave number four, D, could be wave number seven, the one that Stevie loves out there, what Basil likes to call the rogue wave. Could be my uh, Rhodes Mintum indicator. Don't spend any time with that if you're not going to understand bullish or bearish reversal candles out there, because you will get your arse handed to you. Just like I believe you will, it's no different if you just buy every D point of an A to B equals CD or sell it on the way up there. Wait for the cavalry to arrive. Okay, enough about that. Let's go. Uh, I don't think there's any other questions at this stage here. So let's go take a look at what the markets are doing. Let's try to understand. Let's try to interpret what the message of the market is right now. And we're going to do that when we get back from this uh, breakout here, even though I think there's a few other questions that have come in. But we'll first get to the overall market. We'll do that for a few minutes or what have you. Have, uh, however long it takes. And then we'll go to uh, Wayne. So just one question, I guess. Wayne's got a question about shop. So this is Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'd love to hear from you. You can give us a call at 877-927-6648. You ready? I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, six and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you're a trader in the market looking to find the path that leads to maximizing profits while decreasing risk, then now is a great time to try out Dave White's daily trading service, The Path of Least Resistance. Through the use of options and equity trades, Dave advises his subscribers on a daily basis of the current market conditions and what possible trade setups are on the horizon. The Path of Least Resistance is published every trading morning, often with updates intraday when initiating trades or closing out positions. Dave White has advised his clients of some outstanding winning options and equity trades in recent months, and now is a great time to try it out for yourself. New subscribers to the Path of Least Resistance receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the types of options and equity trades that are available by signing up for the Path of Least Resistance today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com and selecting the newsletter tab. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. Dow's up 470, S&P 62. We're actually going to go to Wayne's question next because it's just, you know, everything in life happens for us. Well, our discussion prior to that break on the A to B equals CD pattern really fits right into uh, take a look at Shopify, S-H-O-P. So let me actually read uh, Wayne's question is, is shop a sale or sell, I suppose, or a buy 
at this level? What's the uh, range out here? So let's take a look at uh, Shopify in its daily time frame. And here's the A to B equals CD pattern that has uh, formed. The A point out here is the low from April 18th. Makes a run all the way right up in the top of its profile out there. That was on the trading day of March 26th. And then pulls back. Price gets below that profile on April the uh, 2nd. That was a bullish structured profile. But price was able to get back into it a couple of days later out here. But in any event, that marks the C point of the A to B equals CD. Now, as that B point was being passed, that was March 26th. That had volume of about 3.1 million shares. It was passed with 3.7 million shares. So we like to call that around these, these parts out here. It confirmed A to B equals CD pattern out here. Now, what we can see is price was able to move through that, move through the 1.272 level. Again, you're seeing all these green body candles. Now, look, it doesn't matter. A green body candle does not necessarily mean it's bullish. And the red body candle does not necessarily mean it's bearish. That just tells us where the open and the close was so that we can visually see that here. But we can see, or I can share with you, that along the way higher, all the way up until yesterday, we had nothing but bullish candles. Now, this made a 1 to 2, A to B equals CD. So for those of you that are going to sign up for Tom's workshop, and you should, and you're going to get a uh, autographed copy, I believe, of uh, the art of timing the trade out here, I don't know the page, but there's a page out there that will tell you that um, when you do a 1 to 2, A to B equals CD, Wayne, typically the market's going to do something else. Okay, so what is that something else? Well, in this case here, yesterday was a bearish engulfing candle. It was a key reversal session out here. So you've got your bearish reversal candle. So your question is, is this a sale or a buy? It is definitely not a buy, right? Now, would you short it? Mm. You've got to take a look at the reward risk out here and take a look at other things, other signals. Is there some other resistance out here? Not that it's not going to pull back, but would you actually go ahead and short it? Or if you were long, would you pre prepare for a retracement out here? Well, if we take a look at the weekly and the monthly time frames, they're above all kinds of profiles out here. So they're above resistance. So now we need to bring over Stevie's other charts to see what else we have out here. So when we take a look at Shopify, we can also see that yesterday, so not only was it a, a butterfly sell pattern, and a butterfly sell, just simply, I, I won't go into it, but let will just simply call it the sell the D point of the A to B equals CD was also bar number nine of a TD nine count. Now we can also see that Stevie's red line turned green about a half a dozen sessions ago. And we know when that takes place, there's a phenomena that takes place. And that is that price and that line are going to catch up to each other. It doesn't tell us how, meaning price could move sideways. The oscillator and change line just simply keeps moving higher. Price could pull back. It could be any number of uh, situations. But the reality is the buy on this would take place on a retracement back to support. Support would be Stevie's green line out here. Now, this is trading at 624. And as you know, we've had very large moves out here. And the question is, if you're in this, it depends where you're in this, do you want to stomach the potential of a 100-point decline? Right now, it would be a 100-point move to come all the way back to Stevie's green line out there. And that is basically the range. So, Wayne, would I sell it? If I was long, I would most certainly make sure that I had a trailing stop out here. The trailing stop, well, this has an average true range of 48 bucks. It's really 47.84. That's your average daily movement out here. And your stop, well, when you start to get to a sell point, you can tighten up your stop. Just realize anything less than 47.84 is kind of dangerous because that's just the average daily movement out there. And you want to be stopped out by something that's average. So if you can't take the heat of $47.84, I would bag my profits now. And then I would wait for price, see if it pulls back, if it can test Stevie's green line, because a test and rejection of Stevie's green line is uh, price pulling back to support, and that would be your next buy area into Shopify. So, Wayne, thanks for the question. It kind of was nice because it fit right into the scenario there of the A to B equals CD pattern. So now let's go get to the market here. And I think this is gonna answer really Eric's question. So let me answer, let me let, let me read Eric's question and then we'll go to the charts to help him out. He says, hi Steve, I'm in TQQ at 5425. Can you give me your thoughts on where you'd put a stop? So that's gonna be pretty easy. We're gonna answer that one, but then we'll go take a look at the NASDAQ itself and try to get a feel for, um, for where it is headed to. But TQQQ, Come on, work with me, folks. We're on the air. Not you, not YQQQ, TQQQ. And that is the long triple for the uh, uh, for the NASDAQ 100 out here. Your 
average true range on TQQQ over the last 10 days is $5.78. And you asked me the question, where would I put a stop? It would be, you're in at 54 bucks, okay, so you've got some, some, some room out here. But it would basically be 578 times either, depends whether you're how aggressive, how conservative of a trader. I'll give you the conservative approach. Uh, $5.78 times 1.272, less wherever the close is today. That way you're giving it some room. If you really want to give it room because you've got a, a belief that the NASDAQ is going to continue to move higher, then what I would do is I'd use a 1.618. Now, I don't know what 578 times 1.618 is off the top of my head. It's probably around 10 something as a guess, 10 to 11 bucks. So let's say at 11 bucks minus 62 where we're trading right now, you'd have a stop around $51. Gee, that doesn't really work for you, does it? Because you're in at 54.25. So what do you do in that situation? Well, in that situation, it is what it is. In that situation, you either you tighten up the stop, go to the 1.272. Uh, you put your stop at break even at 54.25. But you're asking me, where would I put a stop? Again, it's so important to understand what the last I use 10 days. Some people use maybe 14 or 15 trading sessions, whatever, whatever. Find something that works for you. I like the average of the last two weeks out there to understand the average true range. Now, let's go take a look at TQQ. Or let's go take a look at the Qs itself. But of course, let's begin that process by taking a look at really all of the equity profile, all of the uh, equity futures contracts out there to see where they are trading in relationship to their task market profile. So let's focus in on the NQ first. And here's what we can see. Yesterday, remember we talked about, we were taking a look at some instruments, and yesterday we saw a close below support, the support of its bullish structured profile out here inside the NQ, the only one that broke through support yesterday. But that so far is a one-hit wonder because today, now I don't know where the close is today, uh, Eric, but if the uh, close is above 8561, that could suggest staying with your long TQQ. I say suggest staying with it. The real problem is on a bear, bullish structured profile, when price does break it, if a counter trend rally is going to stop, where it's going to stop is somewhere between the bottom of that profile or the center of that bullish structure profile. So you've got to keep an eye on 86.62. That's only 30 points away from where we're trading right now. That could be the end of it. If price can close above that, well, then what you could see is a move up to the top of that box out there. And that's 88.65. So, Eric, you're in a situation out here. If this was just a short-term trade, if I don't see the NQ close above 86.62 today, I'd be hard pressed to tell you to hang on overnight because of that average true range in the stop that you need to put in place. But you make the decision, and I hope that helps you out. See you, with TFN. Have a great day. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. 
Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, uh, folks. Dow's up 421, and uh, let's go out to, uh, we've got to call Robert in uh, Overland Park, uh, Kansas. Robert, uh, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? Great. Thank you, Steve, for taking my call. My pleasure. I was uh, inquiring about GDX, and I wonder if you look at GDX, and then normally you kind of look at the gold contract, but I wonder if you could just kind of stick to the equities, and I'd like to get your thoughts on what would it take for you to change your position on like GDX? I know that you've been bearish. What would it take you to change your position to more of a bullish or not on a, not on an intraday or a daily, but kind of more of a, I'll say, uh, you know, the next two or three weeks, maybe intermediate time frame. So, uh, but you, yeah. Let's just let's just stick with the GDX picture out here, uh, which which okay. in essence you asked me to do. And then what what we'll do is at the very end we'll go take a look at gold. That way, that'll help the folks that are that are looking for gold out here. So first, with regard to GDX out here, what you need to see is you need to see a close above the candle session from April the 14th out there, and uh, that high, Robert, is uh, 32.27. And uh, you're trading at 32.34. So watch today's action. Now, the reason why I use that bar is price needs to close above that in order to maintain its bullish posture would be because a bearish pattern would have failed. And that was the TD nine count pattern. So bar number eight. Um, and all we really saw here was kind of a so you're either going to see when you get to the TD nine count, you're either going to see a change in trend a little bit of a hiccup, which typically is one or two bars down and then a move higher, uh, or you're going to see some kind of sideways-ish type move out there. And so this has been doing the hiccup sideways move. And if price can close above the high of April 14th, that would then suggest that it would go and continue to move higher. Now, let me take a look. That's a daily time frame. Let's take a look at the weekly, see what we can figure out here. On the weekly time frame, what you're looking for is a close above the uh, week of, let me get this out here. You're looking for a close above the week of February 28th. Now, that had confirmed a nice big old Rhodes momentum indicator top out there, and price pulled back, well, beyond uh, actual uh, support out here. But if price can close above that this week, now that high is going to be 31.84. I don't remember if that was the last one or not, but 3184 out there. Well, then from the then you will have had another bearish pattern or bearish resistance level fail out here. So that's what I would be watching for inside the GDX on a monthly time frame. Let me take a look at it. Price now on a monthly time frame. Well, it's continuing to move higher and do so with less relative energy out here. But I don't see until the next bearish reversal candle forms and really be more focused on the weekly and daily patterns out there. Um, but this is just a caution sign with regard to the GDX. So that's what I see. Now, you might be asking where would be the price projection out here. 
um, on a move higher if price is able to take out that that recent high. So let's go take a look at the A to B equals CD pattern out here. And for the A point, we're going to start down here. This is the uh, that's the daily time frame we're on. That's going to be the March 16th low. The B point we're going to use because this is where the next high forms before price really pulls back, and that's going to be March 26. And then the C point is going to be the low of April 1st. So your one to one price projection is going to be 3403. So if price is able to close above those resistance points, then you know that the next price target area is 3403. There's no bearish reversal candle that forms as price up heads up that level. Then what you'd be looking at is the 1.272 expansion or 3703. So just sticking with GDX, does that help you out or help you understand what to be looking for and observe? Absolutely. That was very helpful. Okay. All right, so now let's go back to our gold question out here. And inside of gold, let's start off by taking a look at gold by seeing how is gold trading in all the major currencies out here. Today, it's trading higher in all major currencies. And so that is helpful. Where is resistance on the daily time frame? Now, what I want to do here is I'm going to switch over from this set of charts because this is using my synthetic version of the contract. And sometimes the prices are different or the profile levels are different. But this is so that I can can incorporate a lot of data out here. Data is important, but we can switch over and take a look at the June contract. That's what I'm gonna do right now. And I'm gonna put up the uh, daily profiles out here. So give me a second to just get that, um, that indicator going. Here we go. And as we take a look at it right now, so what gold did, what gold has been doing, it's been able to pierce, not pierce, but close below the bottom of that profile, which is 170660. What it hasn't been able to do, Robert, it hasn't been able to do it for two sessions in a row out here because you close below it on April 17th then the very next day you close above it. Then yesterday you close below it. Well, today it looks like we're going to close above it. So where price is trading into right now is 1739. And that could be a resistance level. This is where both buyers and sellers believe that there is fair value inside of uh, gold. So then what I need to do is, or what I will do, is uh, let's go over and take a look at gold and its primary trading ranges. The primary trading ranges, folks, this is a tool that uh, I was taught by uh, Bud Rawls. Now, I use my tool differently because I've been able to automate this. And so these lines here are all automated. The green lines represent weekly time frames. It is a weekly time frame chart we're looking at. And the red lines represent monthly levels. These are horizontal trading ranges. My system goes out and it takes a look at as much data as I give it. And it, what it does is identifies the largest area of co-located opens or closes. It doesn't matter whether it's an open or close. And then it looks for the second highest level. And from there, we get our trading range boundary line. So what you and I know right now is that gold is trading with inside a range. And that range is the weekly horizontal trading ranges. The top of the range is 1762. We saw price spike above that last week, but it closed below it. And it moved all the way down, so it tested the top of the range. 1762 and it tested the bottom of the range 1695 now what price is doing it's traded right into 1740 that's a resistance level that's your monthly horizontal trading range if price can get above it so you know you're you now know you're at resistance in gold the center of that daily profile and the uh, monthly horizontal trading range level out there but if price can get above both of those areas then what we'll be looking at is move back to that 1762 to the downside if you see a close in gold on a weekly basis, we'll have to call them two weeks, two close blows, 1695, then that tells you that last week's high was the high and that we will likely see gold heading lower through the end of the year. And that's my take on gold. Does that help you out? Mm, that was super fantastic. Thank you so much. I like super fantastic. So glad to help you. So you got the GDX. Now you know we're taking a look at the gold. Which of the two are going to be the drivers out here? I don't know. I don't know. But 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 you got to keep your eyes on both of them. Okay. You know what also is nice to hear is you sound like you fully recovered and you're doing well now. I, I, I have. I, I have. I'd like to get a test, uh, any blood work test, just to confirm whether I actually had I mean, I had I had the symptoms, so that's for sure. 
uh, although my toes did turn blue. I saw some doctor yesterday said, you know, if your toes turn blue, that's a pretty good indication that you had it. But, um, you know, the testing isn't widely available for somebody like myself right now that doesn't have the uh, symptoms. So, uh, yeah, I know about the give blood thing, uh, Mr. Bill, and I've been looking around for that van. Uh, to consider that but but Robert yeah I, I'm I'm back to normal no matter what so hey we're going to a hard break here thanks so much for calling hope all that helped and I look forward to speaking to you again soon all right thank you you bet now is at 450 s and 62 we'll be right back With markets trading with extreme volatility and peaks and troughs everywhere, regardless of what you're looking at in the markets, this is a great time to see the type of analysis Basil Chapman delivers for his subscribers every market day with the opening call newsletter. Basil has been analyzing markets, providing his take for subscribers to his trading services since 1984. Every morning, Basil publishes an update for his subscribers, along with weekend and evening updates when warranted. The opening call provides traders a daily market overview with regard to the direction of the key indices, selective stocks and commodities, along with specific recommendations, including stops and targets. You also gain instant access to Basil's subscriber webinar archive from earlier this year, a dark cloud cover and essential market analysis. Ride the Chapman wave today by signing up for the opening call newsletter on the front page of TFNN.com under the newsletter tab. New subscribers get a 30 day money back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Sign up today. The gold market has taken off topside in a large way in 2020. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report took profits in four of its equities in the gold portfolio in the first week of January for a combined profit of 99.2%, with two positions left in the portfolio that have a profit of 67.5% as of January 7th. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This is David White. Stay tuned because coming up next is the Power Trading Hour right here on TFNN. Welcome back, uh, folks. So one of our donors wanted to take a look at Square. SQ is the ticker symbol out here. It has a confirmed A to B equals CD to the upside. Your one-to-one -one price projection will be $69, one-to-one point two seven two seventy six fifty seven out there. Uh, you, you're running into some um, you're running into some sideways action, and it was really started here. Even though price got above the uh, profile, um, this little shooting star that uh, formed on the trading session of April 9th. And then a couple days later, we had this little bullish structured profile that formed. So you've got resistance at 62.68. You don't, because it's a bullish structured profile, whoever had requested this, you don't want to see it close below 55.90. At below 55.90, that's a problem. We've got a new weekly profile that formed. It's above price. That's bearish. And uh, so just be careful out here. You've got that confirmed A to B equals C to the upside. You're in a little bit of a uh, congestion zone out there. Um, 
M inside the den asked about, hey, where's the price target for the ES Mini? If we take a look at it, here's your roads momentum indicator bottom patterns that were uh, formed. Uh, those lows held uh, throughout the uh, day yesterday. And so the upside price target is your major resistance level. That major resistance level for me is 2807.75. That is where on a 30 minute basis, the ES Mini had broken down. Price can't get through that. If you are able to get through one level, you go to the next level, that next level would be 2850. Although I would switch over to the 60 minute time frame chart to understand where resistance is. Why is it that price may be able to get up there? Well, one of those reasons would be let's go take a look at the spot volatility index. And right now it is trading below its 50 day exponential moving average. That is priced at 4280. Uh, the spot VIX is at 4179. Watch the close there. The spot VIX index can regain and close back above that 50 day number. Again, that is 4280 then this would suggest that today's action was just a counter trend rally. It still is a counter trend out here, but uh, if it closes below, it could have more upside move. Where would the upside move be to? Well, inside the ES Mini, it could be up to 2846. Inside the Dow, 23,967. And in the Russell, 1265. I'm not saying that's where price is headed. Price has to take out resistance levels first, and we took a look at the one for the 30-minute time frame. Folks, thanks so much for being here. Stay tuned. Two more great hours left, and I'll look forward to seeing you on Thirsty Thursday. Have a great day. Be safe out there.